Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Force Feed for this Monday, April 30th. In today's gaming news, League of Legends Spectator Mode coming soon, new Dishonored screenshots available, Halo 4 live-action web series revealed, and God of War Ascension has multiplayer. Hop into your friends' games and watch them get owned with League of Legends Spectator Mode. In its next major update, League of Legends Spectator Mode will be officially launched, allowing players to view custom games, friend games, and featured games. Riot released a video today going over all major features available and explaining how to use them. You'll be able to start watching other people's games yourself when Spectator Mode goes live in an upcoming patch. Now none of your friends are safe from embarrassment, so hop in their games, start recording, and throw it on YouTube. A fresh new batch of Dishonored screenshots are now available. Six new screenshots are now available for the upcoming stealth combat title being developed by Arcane Studios. Intriguing environments, intense combat, and provocative women are just a few of the many things Dishonored has to offer. Planned for launch this year, expect to see more of the game in the coming months. Today Microsoft revealed the Halo 4 live-action web series. Titled Halo 4 Forward Unto Dawn, this series will introduce a new character that ties into the plot of the game. Forward Unto Dawn will consist of five 15-minute episodes to be aired on Machinima.com and Halo Waypoint in the weeks prior to the game's November 6 launch. Of the series, 343 Industries said they wanted to do something unique from a narrative standpoint that's big in scale. We'll see if they pull that off when the episodes air this fall. I've yet to see a live-action series based off of a game that I actually enjoyed watching. Here's hoping this changes that, but I'm not going to place any bets. What's missing from the epic single-player experience that has been the God of War franchise? Apparently, multiplayer. God of War Ascension will be introducing the franchise's first-ever multiplayer mode, consisting of a back-and-forth battle between the forces of Sparta and Troy. The multiplayer involves zone control with the ultimate goal of defeating a chained-up god, and as neat as that sounds, does it really belong in this franchise? I find it odd that a series based off of the single-player experience is just now adding a competitive multiplayer. This isn't exactly a new phenomenon, but that doesn't make it any better. The issue that arises is that the development time spent to add these new features might be taking away from development time based on the core single-player experience. Are you guys concerned or excited for the changes being added in the next God of War? Alright my friends, that'll do it for today's episode of the Force Feed. Be sure to like and favorite the video. Stay tuned tomorrow for another episode. Once again, this has been Force, and you've just been Force Fed. I know a lot of you have been following my content in this channel for quite some time now. Based off of that trend, I decided that starting next month, 50% of the content I put out will be from other people. Are you excited or what?